So there is the group of elite women to start the three races we'll have here around St. James Park. A lot of terms, a lot of turns, Amy Craig, as we talked about going into this. It's a different kind of race course, but it's set up to be fast. Yes, it's a very fast course. It was actually the second choice for the breaking two that Elliot Kipchoge um, his the first attempt to go under two hours. So we know it's a fast course. It was the second choice in the world. However, there still are there are 80 turns on that co this course. And the other race um, of note, American Sarah Hall, who ran a four-minute personal best last year in Berlin while wearing a carbon-plated shoe. Her time put her number six on the U.S. all-time list. And today she's running in prototypes with permission of World Athletics, um, really in hopes to break another four minutes off of her personal best time. So really extraordinary technology, not just supporting these athletes, but working for them. And as a group to run that pace, two miles in now, last mile a bit slower than the first 521. As we look again at the lead pack and Bridget Koske, talk back a little bit in the field to the Americans and Sarah Hall, such a consistent performer over her career, but has been steadily getting better and better. Won that U.S. Marathon title back in 2017. There is a look at Sarah. Had a very strong half marathon performance in a five-person race set up by her former college teammate Ian Dobson just outside of Eugene, Oregon back in August. And uh, again, working with her husband Ryan has circled this day but nina it's been like for a lot of these athletes a very different build-up they haven't had as much time some of them learning that they were going to be in this race just a few weeks ago and so many runners because they have so many in the top you know 100 in the world um but unfortunately they only get a sensory so it's a very very difficult process we look back on this stretch of the run there is sarah hall running all by herself, came through in 10 kilometers and 33.22, about a minute behind the leaders. This is a really tough position. A really tough position for Sarah Hall to be in. She's on projected time of 2.21 now, while other Americans, Molly Seidel and Lindsay Flanagan, are actually running together at 2.23 pace. So that's your update on the United States. The pacemakers peel off or it's time to make their move. Today was very different. On a new course, I think everyone needed to take those first couple of laps, those first couple of miles, and really read the course. They needed to know where the tangents were. Tangents are when you hug the turn to make sure you're running the shortest route. Where the puddles are that it may need to swing wide. And also where they could find a rhythm on this course. With the over 80 turns that they have to maneuver over the span of 26.2 miles, this could get very challenging to make those turns gracefully. Sarah Hall is in a very difficult position. She's in no man's land right now. She's now on 224.12 pace, so she is falling off, but she's in the toughest spot. It's so hard to be out there on your own, especially there are no spectators out there right now, so it's just quiet. All she's hearing is her breath and her footsteps and probably some raindrops falling pretty hard on that on that asphalt out there. It might be great if the pack behind her can eventually move up so that she can have some people to run with. It looks like that might happen within the next loop so that at least she's not gonna be lonely out there. Yes, absolutely. Hopefully she can get in with that group and still have a great race today. And as we pan back further in the field, Sarah Hall has moved into eighth place. Her projected finish right as of right now is two hours, 21 minutes, and 21 seconds, which is Joan Benoit's old American record to do with that. A look at Sarah Hall now with McGurtu there in front of her, and that's, uh, for her, a sight to behold. She was running all by herself for so much of this race and now potentially advantaged by being within a couple of strides of the athlete currently in sixth position, Sarah has been running very well. Team. And again, Sarah Hall up into fourth position as we monitor her spot in the standings. She was closing in on Shetty Bakari of Ethiopia, who was in third. 
There is the aforementioned McCary. And I'm not sure if that is Sarah Hall coming in. We'll wait for her to come full in view. Indeed it is. So Sarah Hall has now moved into a position to battle for not only a lifetime best, but perhaps a podium finish here in London, which would be tremendous validation for all that she talked about with us just a few days ago, as well her coach and husband, Ryan, who felt like she was in the best shape of her career. The excitement has to be building as she gets closer and closer to the finish line and sees the carry there ahead of her. It's so close, that podium finish and the big PR. She just has to hang tough for this last bit of the race. Or, or is there anything you could suggest to even somebody watching at home that says, says you know, what can I take from watching Sarah here in these final few kilometers about just getting myself motivated to push through when it feels tough to do so? Yes, and every single one of these professional athletes, the world champions that are out here, the, the, the people that have won major marathon wins and our world record holders, they all have demons and those, those voices inside of them that doubt. But as soon as you can start flexing that angel inside of you, the motivator, the cheerleader inside of you to just keep digging down, you gotta, you got to look at it like, not, oh my gosh, I still have another lap to go, but oh, I've got another lap to go, and then my day's done, so I am going to give it the best that I have right now. Sarah is on a projected 2 hour, 21 minute, 36 second marathon pace, if she can keep this up. I do think her pace is slowing a little, despite the fact that she is motivated to catch the carry in front of her. We'll just see if she can get that podium spot and hang on to this pace that she has set for herself this morning. This year has been so tough on everyone, but being able to witness something like this, where you know it wasn't the ideal buildup, and they just made broken a star-studded field on the streets of London around St. James Park, a field that included world champions, marathon major winners. This is exactly what sets her apart from everybody else. She can absolutely just crush the second half of a marathon, much like we have seen from our world record holder in the men's side, Elliot Pinchoki. There's the Kire, Sarah Hall behind her, looking to sneak attack on the side, come through without notice so she doesn't get a fight from the Kire. Well, they have been struck by, of, of all the runners we've seen in this race, Sarah has humped the rail the whole time. She has stayed you know, very much up against that, uh, that inside railing to whether that is the true running of the Tansis or not. It's just kind of been her strategy. And to your point, looks like she's trying to maybe sneak up on Bakari, who probably doesn't have any idea whether she has anyone behind her chasing her down. This loop course now has spread out the entire field in such a way that you're passing people and assuming that those people that are that you hear behind you are the ones that you pass, but in the case of Sarah, she's closing ground and has done so with each passing kilometer. There is that move, Sarah Hall moving up into position three, and she is flying. She made a decisive move so that the carry could not answer it. And now she's up in two. Absolutely. She's pulling away from the carry now, and the carry didn't even respond. Sarah is only focused on what's ahead of her, it looks like. She's starting to just trying to see if she can reel in anyone else. So daughters, Hannah, Mia, Lily, and Jasmine, if you are watching, if you're not sleeping right now, your mom is making the podium of the London Marathon. Well, it's another mother who is ahead of the field, Bridget Koske herself, the mother of twins, Brian and Faith, and often has to leave them behind to go train at altitude where she likes to train like Sarah Hall does, 9,605 feet is where she trains for most of the year. There's Chepin Gedich, the reigning world champion, who was alone in second. Kind of wondering what happened to what she thought was a pretty competitive race with Koske, and what happened was successive miles of 
519, 522, 521, 520, and 521. Koske has found another gear and has broken away, and so has Sarah Hall broken away and put some distance between her and now in fourth place, Bacare. So Hall and Chepin Gedich, and maybe is that Hall turning the corner there. So it now has an ability to see second place in front of her whether she has enough time and real estate to cover, I would not count Sarah Hall out of second place at the moment. I wouldn't either. She's tough as nails, and she has her inner sight. She's in a great place. Just seeing her is enough to want to dig down and push all the way to the finish line, so I'm cheering for her and hope she can do it. It's still a way to go. It's still the last few miles of a marathon, which are brutal, but she's in a great position she would go faster now we watch behind and you see the legs and now the full face and body of Sarah Hall what a difference that she has put into this race and the battle for the podium in second place you can just see how much she wants it here in the final stages of this race as she has closed an enormous amount of distance between her and the reigning world champion as Ruth Chepin Gedich and Sarah Hall will make their turn to home shortly just too much real estate to cover in this amount of time but Sarah Hall America is back on the podium here at the London Marathon Ruth Chepin Gedich looks like she is going to get uh, second place here what a race we saw today with such an amazing talented field and to watch American Sarah Hall go from 10th place to 8th place to 5th place and finally work her way onto this podium with one lap to go. It has been extraordinary. What momentum in her training and also within this race. And Amy, to do that basically all by herself for most of this race makes it that much more remarkable. It's so incredible. Both of these women, Chep and Gedich, went out hard and has run a good majority of this race on her own. Sarah Hall has proved me wrong twice in my commentating, but I love her for it. <laughs> Wow, what a performance. 2.2.01, the official winning time for Sarah Hall. That actually keeps her number six on the U.S. all-time list. It is a personal best for her. Congratulations, Sarah. Second place at the Virgin Money London Marathon, keeping your sixth place all-time status an impressive race an impressive way to do it to be running alone this whole time and slowly picking everyone off just a brilliant kick at the end and when it comes down to it everyone's hurting so bad at that last mile that it's really it comes down to who wants it how bad do you want it how bad do you want to get there ahead of the next person and she wanted it she went for it and she got it